Yo, Kirk Bangs in the building. Kirk Bangs. What's happening? What's up, homies? How are you, man? I'm good, man. How you? Where are you from again? I'm from Houston, Texas. Houston, on, Texas. Man. I forgot. What are you talking about? Come where on, you man. from? Well, is it true that you got the name Kirk Bangs because you bang everything that moves? Nah, it ain't how I got the name, but it's kind of happening. But now like it's that. starting to come to fruition, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I seen it like I'm a true. zenith. <laughs> So what's up, man? What's cracking? Oh, uh, man, right now, man, just working. Got a new record with YG and Yo Gotti. You know what I'm saying? Called No. You know what I'm saying? Working that. I'm on, uh, about to hit this tour, hit the road with Bun B, Trill OG. That's an honor wow. for the youngin. You know How's that? How'd you get that? Man, just working. You know what I'm saying? I'm working. We put the idea together, man, and it worked. It came to fruition, like you say. So we're going to do that from March 6th wow. to April 17th and getting up for this album to drop this summer. So for people who may not be familiar, may have... Slept on you like they just heard you uh, heard your first record. Yeah, tell them a little bit about what you do, man. Like I've heard you're a really talented dude. So tell them about some of the skills you got. Oh man, I'm just working. You know what I'm saying? I I rap. I do the same thing or whatever. You know what I'm saying? My my most skilled position is with the ladies, though. You know what I'm saying? Fucking. You, you talking about fucking? Talking about? <laughs> yeah. I understand. Getting to it, but man, I'm just a young player. I hustle, really man. Get paid Getting to it, that, though, right? What? Is there a profession for that? Jiggler. Yeah, you get paid for everything these days. You, got, you try? Do you think that you're a be, you'd be better off as a professional jiggler? <laughs> nah, I'm good where I'm at. <laughs> I'm good where you, I'm at. You write? You write as well? Yeah, as well. Yeah. So you write, sing, do all do all the whole rap. It seems like yeah. it been, it, it's. I don't know the hundred percent everything you put out, but it seems like it's taking a little longer than it should. Yeah. What's the problem? Oh, because I know a lot. Of, I know a lot of artists that talk about you. you they love you. They love yeah. your music. They always like, oh, I was with Kirk go here. He was about to do this. He dropping that. Yeah. What's the man, whole? Is just, it the label shot punch somebody in the face? Nah, nah, nah. We gonna hold that for later. You know what okay. I'm saying? All right. It was just really. You might me. have to kidnap Ron Stewart. Oh, it was you? Nah, it was really me, man. Just like understanding the game. You know what I'm saying? That's why mm. my album is called Bigger Than Me. And one of the reasons I caught it is because I had to understand that a lot of things ain't about me in this game. Like when you trying to work with somebody or a label, it's a give and take situation. Like sometimes yeah. you don't want to do things, but. You have to do it. You know what I'm saying? You can't just always be about yourself and think that what you're saying is right. So yeah. as far as working with other people. Well, yeah, if you go against people, the plan, there's another artist right behind you that. Oh, yeah. I if you, didn't, I you, didn't if, see you, that. if you're not rolling and he's ready to roll, they're going to go. That didn't happen. <laughs> that didn't happen over the past, you know what I'm saying, two years or whatever. But now I'm ready. I feel like it took me some time to get my mind right. But right now it's the perfect time. I wouldn't change it. Good, uh, good. And no part of you's gotten frustrated because I imagine it has to be a time where, like, when it first starts happening, yeah, you get the double XL freshman, yeah, all these different things happening. You're like, oh man, I'm popping. Yeah, people starting to, and then not that it that's gone away, but it levels off a little bit. And, I went, then, oh. and you don't want to get impatient. I wasn't ready though. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I wasn't ready. I don't think that you know what I'm saying. If it would happen, how it would happen, I wouldn't have took advantage of it like I am now. That's you know good. Saying? That's so good that you admit that. A lot just, of people don't admit that. Yeah, I had to just get myself ready, get my mind together, and just understand that, to understand the business, understand some job, and start having fun with it again as well. Like, I wasn't having fun with it. I was just doing it because I had to do it. But now I know what I'm saying I'm excited. And I'm excited about what the music I got and just to be here and be working. Now, were you always a ladies' man? <laughs> or and, or be honest, were you also nah, a ladies' man? And it started, but the improvement has to help. When you have that radio banger, <laughs> nah, for sure. Like, I always, I was like little brother, like Roger. You know what I'm saying? To a lot of the ladies oh, coming up, yeah, man. I was like that. My little so, brother. What? Yeah, you get a little brother. I can't stand a little brother. I ain't little brother, stand a little brother, ain't little brother to none of them no more, though. You know mm. what I'm saying? Well, now, were there women specifically where you were little brother, and then all of a sudden it became incest city? You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, yeah. Got okay. The wording. the wording, the wording, the word, but you, the word. I understand you though. Know. Well, you know what I'm saying, Sy? <laughs> I know, but they the were like, wording. "Oh, you're like my little brother," and then later on they're like, and "You were like, I thought I was your little yeah. brother." Well, me, I'm like, man, anything I couldn't touch at first, I'm touching it now. You know you know what I'm saying? I'm making sure I gotta get did that you, now. Did you did you fuck your babysitter like Drake did? <laughs> nah, you settled down right now. You just nah, rock it out. I'm turning up, man. I'm wilding. I gotta get to it. You know what I'm saying? I'm At least rapper. you're being honest. How I old are you? Like I'm 24. Who's a couple of the ladies you looking at that's around the oh, game? Rihanna. In the game? Rihanna. Oh, yeah. you went right to the top. You yeah. went right to the top. Well, hold I'm on. trying to make it. Yeah, easy. Now, that's <laughs> my that's my sister, yo. Now hold on. I mean, it's cool. Did you see what Did you see what Rihanna said about Saif on Instagram a few weeks ago? What'd you say? Don't look it up. You follow her. You follow Rihanna? Yeah, yeah, Look yeah, at her I be, be clacking. So we you'll go up. It. You probably fast forwarded because you looking for all the hot pictures of her. And you're like, nah, I just did on the Instagram. And you're like, who's this? this one? She was like 17 and I was looking much skinnier. But just check it you out. You should check it out. But as you'll see, they have a brother-sister relationship that's real. Although, Saif, that said, Rihanna knew brother-sister. You knew her when she was a kid. Yeah. Does that mean that if now she said, you know, we'll be really tight? I literally had this conversation with my wife. I said, you would understand if I left you for Rihanna. She said, absolutely. Mm. For sure. She said, absolutely. Now, you wouldn't feel a way, though, because you knew her when she was younger? 
You were just Woody Allen. Hell no. You were Woody <laughs> Allen in that situation. Soon E. I didn't fucking care. I knew when she was younger. I knew a lot of bitches when they were younger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just call Rihanna a bitch. Huh? No. Other Don't bitches. you? Okay, other bitches. <laughs> <laughs> so who else? Who else, Kirko, besides Rihanna? Uh, Man, I like I like Nikki too. I like. <laughs> Why not? Come on, yeah. Why you know what not? I'm Rihanna, Take it down Nikki. a couple notches. Yeah, you, you're I, I, some I like we the, might not know about. I like the aim high, you know what I'm saying? Well, what about some white, some white movie stars or something? You've been out in L. A. doing your shows. Who's somebody you was seeing out there? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, white movie stars. I don't yeah. know no white movie stars. I ain't gonna lie to you. I like watch them. movies. No, no, yeah. What about just that you watch your movies, even if you haven't seen them out? I ain't gonna. I'm just clocking Rihanna and Nikki right now. That's it. <laughs> so <laughs> you tell me right now, <laughs> Scarlett Mission. Scarlett Johansson walks in here. You just let her walk out. I don't even know who that is. Yo, Kirk. <laughs> I don't even know who that All is. All right, well, there's a subject. How do you know I who knew that's what you was talking about. Yeah. I knew that's talking about with the records. Yeah, Rihanna. She, you know, she. Is I that the picture of you did. and Rihanna? Let me tell you what Rihanna. Nah, did. you can't do that, man. Rihanna put me. In a different type of fire zone when she put that IG out. Okay? That's all you have to do is Run, put an Instagram listen, out. I'm being dead. Hold on, Sife, we're getting away from the subject to hand. Sorry. Kirko yeah, Bangs. Nah, he wanna, he's going to reminisce. Kirko, I feel you know. <laughs> Kirko Bangs doesn't even know who Scarlett Johansson yeah, is. Yeah, that's, nah. that's insane. You know that's that, very right? I mean, weird. I don't watch too much TV, though, you, so. You're a weirdo, man. Well, what nah, else? I'm who just else? Chilling, man. I just stay in the stew. Oh, let's see who else he would not have heard of. <laughs> <laughs> who else? Don't keep on putting them. What about like an Amy Adams or something like that? I don't know that is. What's the other girl? Um, Jennifer Lawrence. I don't know no, that, that is. No. <laughs> Come on, man. Wait, you gotta get her. You gotta pick okay, up an OK magazine. Maybe we should. Something. Maybe we should go a little further back. Maybe there's someone a couple years ago that's more familiar. Man, you know, show Gabby me some Union? pictures. Man. Yeah, for sure. All right, so you know black. Uh, actually, yeah. So you're racist. Nah. Oh, Kirk Cobain <laughs> so is racist. How to get to that. Kirk is racist. So nah, you, you nah. know Megan Good. Yeah. You know Kerry Washington. Yeah. And they could both. Kerry Washington, I like that. You she ever did. smash any white girls? Huh? Nah, I smashed a couple, yeah. Not many, couple? though. Not many. Though, what about though. Puerto Rican? Yeah. Mexican? Rican, yeah. Okay, all that. Yeah, all that. You, but, what's, what's the problem with white girls? Yeah, what's going on, Kirk? Why aren't you here to help? I'm yeah. cool. Click it, y'all, man. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't just I rock how I rock. Why aren't right. you, why aren't so, you Kirko banging any white chicks? So being serious, not even joking around. I'm not calling you a racist. I'm just saying being serious. Where you're from, is that like a thing? Nah, I mean, nah. I got partners. They love them. But it's just me. I just, you know, I rock how I rock. Okay. You, you always just lean towards black chicks? Yeah. Do you I watch Friday Night Lights. Do you watch Friday Night Lights? Yeah. You did? Yeah. The, the show? Movie? No, 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 the, the show. show. Saw nah, the movie. Nah. So have you seen the movie yet? No. Just the show. It's different? It's like the same they story, the same book. yeah. But it's a di one's a TV show, and one's a movie, and they're not related. Man, I'm from Texas. I like them thick, man. Right. Yes, that's right. <laughs> like, Here we go, Come on, man. Eating brisket, strip club, he likes man. to eat Come brisket. On. You know how I go? Are the strip clubs crazy down there? For sure. Got to come holler at me one time. I might here. have to. Come on, man. What kind man, of girls in the me. Is it is it mostly black girls in the club? Spanish? Yeah, they, got, they got Spanish, too, but it's a lot of black girls as well. Very thick in the club. They all be thick, though. No, oh, I'm, I'm not mad at it. Come on, for you sure. You know what I don't like, though, Kirk Obanks? I want your opinion on this. I'm not big on these strippers who are covering their assets with tattoos. I'm not about that life. I know you have tats yourself, but... You don't, yeah. you don't like tats at all? Not I mean, on the ass. To, not you, on ain't ass. To, you ain't trying to take them home and marry them and they're like But I just that, am not attracted. I don't, I'm not turned on anymore. Like, if I see a big, fat ass and then it's covered in a big tattoo, I'm, I lose it. Not you me, into that? I'm turned up. Yeah, you like that? For sure. Like what, about, what, what about titty tattoos? You're with that. Uh, I ain't really tripping. I love you. I got a little, little gratchin in me. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. <laughs> a little what? He's all tatted up too, me, man. I ain't tripping. He is all tatted up. I'm from the hood. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't. I grew up seeing that. It's all good. Yeah, I don't know what it is about me. Once I see him, like, why would you cover your ass? He's like, like the guy. Remember I told you about the guy when I said to him. I don't like girls that wear nasty shoes. And he said to me, I didn't even know girls had feet. <laughs> exactly. Oh, no. <nah. laughs> I don't get down with the shoes, though. I do agree with that statement, Saif. <laughs> you focus too much on someone's feet. I ain't never had foot sex ever in my life. No, nah, that's something. If you wear some nasty shoes, that means you're just a nasty shoe. Just chick. dirty, yeah. Well, yeah. Walla, what do you mean nasty shoes, though? Do you mean dirty? No. Just the style of it. I mean, so, dirty too. Yeah. No, see, see, Kirko. Now I he's don't getting, know the style. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, now he's getting thing. weird. Now he's getting weird. Nah, I can't wait. We gotta, we gotta get it right. Dirty, some old dirty Reebok classics or something. But what if they're clean? What if they're brand new nah, clean? You know, brand new. Nah, she got too. Reebok for a look. Yeah, it's for a look. That's like she likes. Like she's them. wearing like a throwback look. That's perfect. Okay. But if you're wearing like that's your outfit. Like oh, you she, know, I can't stand girls that wear like workout sneakers out. Oh, you wear a pair A6. You in the club or something with some Asics? <laughs> what club you going to? I seen this picture that uh that Meek put up of Molly. I don't know if, oh, if that the, was what with the big butt. Yeah, the yeah, fake, yeah, yeah. I don't think, think it's fake. You think it's fake? It yeah. looked good though. 
No, no, no. It's definitely fake, like not that. real. Meek said, but you don't think it's actually. What Meek happened. said? I don't know what he said. He but said she been up. eating. Uh, I forgot what he said. He's like, oh, Miley been eating some kind of food. I forget what he was said. the food that he said. Does it rhyme with black cocks? Uh, and does yeah. that give, will that give a white chick a fat ass? No. So you liked Miley post post ass? If she has the no, ass, I like, I like, I like it. her period. Though. I like her period. She cool. She's turned up. Yeah, she turned up. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, would you wife a, a, a quote unquote turned up chick like that? Uh, nah. Couldn't do it. Nah, you gotta be chilling. You be he's friends. No he's yeah. nowhere near wife to Nowhere. Come on. Yeah, you're not even thinking about but that. Don't you likes... I like them all, like white, black, Spanish. I'm, as long as I'm they there. turned up. All of them, yeah. As long as they turned up right about now, yeah, for sure. And rocking with me. How much are you partying? You out there partying on? Yeah, all the time. You, you, uh, you a weed head? Nah. Just drinking? Yeah. Just Hennessy. a beverage here. Just Henry. Sure. Yeah, yes. Henny Hardaway. No, no weed? Nah, I smoke occasionally. But not the time, like your thing? Uh, nah. Hmm, it's interesting. These yep. days, so many rappers, almost everyone smokes weed these days. Nah, be cooling, man. Sick no mollies, no mollies for you. <laughs> nah, I keep good. the G. Nah, all right, good, I good. All the drugs. I'm cool. Good. Hennessy. Who needs them pills? You don't need Hennessy. all that. Hennessy. Get yourself, you have a nice driver driving you around, Old right? School, huh? You got to make sure you got a driver for I you, right? I be flipping. No. What does that Sorry? mean? Huh? No, What's don't be flipping. <laughs> Look, I'll be flipping. I'll be driving, but my partners be with me, you know what I'm saying? If I get two thugs. Oh, okay. So if you go in, you got someone yeah, who yeah, grabs the sure. whip. I always got my partner with me for sure. About to say, because come on, Kirk, nah, you, you can have a driver. see me like that. Nah, All right, nah. good, good, good. I got to make it to the highest at least. I got somebody that waiting on me. I got to make it. That's you what, know what I'm saying. saying. Yeah. That's why you need to take care of these things. Come All on. right, so do we already cover when exactly this album's going to come? You said April? It's going to come in the summer. No, he's going to be at Gramercy Theater. Uh, April April 12th April 12th April 12th, 12th. April 12th Bun B, Bun B Kirko Banks The Trillist Tour Yes sir it's That's pretty out. awesome man Congratulations Appreciate that man you got a, The album is done Almost uh, done I, mean, I need like I need a couple more records man What's, like, on, what's on there? A lot of cracks going down man Best music I done did thus far You know what I'm saying So I'm just really excited About everybody to hear this And hear where I've been at You know what I'm saying What it's features just, you grab up for that? Who you got on that? I ain't got too many of them Really you know good I ain't got too many of them As far as, the part as producers I got like Rock City They did work with Rihanna They did work with Miley Cyrus as well They real dope uh, My homies from H-Town They called Knox City They young cats I think they younger than me And my uh, homies that did Like drinking my cup and stuff Sound mob and I got a Ty Dolla Sign on there. Oh, you know nice. Good. Me and Ty got one. I got a uh, August no Mustard, Alcina on Mustard there. August I'll Alcina, Sipe, so you hear that? Yeah, got him on there. Yeah, yeah, you and August Alcina need to go on tour. Call it the Light Skin Takeover Tour. <laughs> I got the homie <laughs> on there, man. Shouts to the homie. And, uh, man, we just rocking. I just, it really a show and prove moment for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go out and grab too much. I want to no say Meek, those, No say Meek favor things. back? Oh, no, Meek the homie, though. We might have to knock one out. Yeah, Meek, Meek got to give you. He was talking about you the other night. Yeah, no, nah, Meek is the he homie, He said you man. got some shit. Yeah, man, I rock with Meek. I like Meek a lot. But really, I'm just trying to show and prove. I feel like it's my moment, and I just want to let everybody know that I'm here. Um, and real quick, who's your favorite Texas hip hop acts of all time? All time favorite taste. Hey, that's difficult. That's Slot difficult. down. Man. Top three. Top three. Oh, top three. I'm gonna have to go with Pimp, Pimp C. Uh, man, I'm gonna say DJ Screw. You know what I'm saying you can't leave out DJ Screw. And uh, dang, I'm gonna say Big Mo. Big Mo, really? Yeah. Big Mo, yeah. Uh, no, he. he th there's some absent names there that people be surprised. You, Big Mo gets ahead of why Big Mo? Man, because Big Mo was just coming with the melodies. You know what I'm saying? He always made you feel good, and just he always had the ride music, and it was real cool. And he was singing and stuff like that. And I think that's a big part of where I come from with the melodies, as well as Pimp C as well. You know what I'm saying? Coming with the melodies, but still keeping it gangster. Mm. No, Makes sense. Sure. All right, yo, Kirko, thanks, man. Kirko Banks. Man. Appreciate Thank you me. coming through. Again, April, Gramercy Theater, April 24th, you said? April 12th. April 12th, yes, Gramercy sir. Theater. Y'all got to come rock with me, man. I'm, I'm, coming. I'm coming. The whole nine, man. We're going to turn up. Yeah, we're going to have to get some turned up chicks in there. Yes, I'm going to have to show you oh, something. I'm going to have to import some chicks for you, man. Let's get to it. But him and Bun B is going to be a, a mix of like turned up chicks and then like some ill hip hop heads. Yeah, yeah, who are there to like really hear what Bun's spitting. Yeah. We should literally have a, li we should have a line down the middle. <laughs> Like you, when you go to a wedding, they're like, "Are you here for the bride or the groom?" Right, you're here, you for, here for Kirko or <laughs> Bun, nah, and then we, we know to which side to go for the turn up chicks. Nah, we're oh, gonna win off each other. Man. I think you're gonna know by the age who's there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're right about that. Yo, man. Kirko, thanks for coming through, man. Appreciate y'all, man.